Welcome to the official Windows 7 channel and uh, today we'll talk about the notifications area on the bottom right of your screen in the taskbar. Uh, right next to your clock actually where you see the date, the time. Uh, one of the problems with the notifications area is that it's basically pretty much self um, customized usually so the computer decides what to hide, what not to hide which ones are being shown, which ones are not being shown and basically people get a little lost because they don't understand why an icon's there one day and it disappeared the next and you can customize that and uh, put the icons that you want in the notifications area so how do you do that? well first of all let's examine the notifications area a little bit if you look down on the right side of your screen you'll see that you'll have icons like you'll have the date, time, or maybe just the time depending on your settings but you'll have the uh, speakers you'll have if you have a Wi-Fi for example they have my connection if you're in a plugged computer you'll have a little computer like icon for network you'll have uh, maybe your, in my case in battery I'm on my laptop battery uh, you'll have battery you might have a lot of icons much more than me uh, this area of Windows 7 for me is really to make videos, so it has really the basic features installed. Um, you might have that little arrow right here, there's a little arrow, it points up, and that means there's something hidden. And if you click on that, you might see a number of icons hidden from there. So you're thinking, okay, some of the icons disappeared there. Oh, I can put them back. Uh, there are many ways to do that you can actually slide them back so if you take for example here I take that little flag click on it and hold and just slide it back here it's back into the notifications area but if it there are many icons of if you want to control how they are actually there or hidden then you might want to go to the control panel if you click the start button go into the control panel make sure that you are in the um, icon view not the category view so you'll click on the upper right side and use large or small icons depending on what you want to have the full view and there you'll find that in the list you have notifications area icons you click there and here you'll see a list of all the icons that are available on the notifications area on the right side now if you don't have too many of them and you want to have them always there you can click on the bottom left always show all icons on notifications on the taskbar and that's gonna just make them permanent and always be there never be hidden and if you have four five six different icons only that could be a nice option if you have 50 icons that's a bad option because you'll fill up the taskbar with icons from the notifications area. The notifications area is there to help you um, in a way because it is kind of a live spot on your taskbar where it's showing you everything that's working, that's active right now, right away. And if any messages or any information is to be shown, well, you see them live on the taskbar notifications area. So if you have too many icons, then instead of putting that little uh, check mark, you'll have the list right here and you have options on each list. So if you click, for example, I don't like the action center because it annoys me more than anything else. So what I'll do is click next to the action center and say, I'd icon in notifications, which means that if I click that option you now see that little arrow just showed up and the little flag is there behind it so any icons that you don't want to have that information displayed basically that's what you'll want to do is simply put it hide icon and notifications and you won't be annoyed by whatever information is giving you of course don't do that with all icons you, there are icons that you want to use for example the volume control is very very uh, important if your volume is not showing there if it's hidden behind the notifications make sure that 
you show and notifications is there show icon and notifications that will make sure that it's shown right there on the bottom right of your uh, taskbar and um, so just put the ones visible that you really need so for example in my case the ones that are important uh, is the speaker my Wi-Fi signal and my battery these are the three that I really like um, if you have an antivirus piece of software installed you might want to have that antivirus always visible that's very important because the antivirus is really um, important uh, it's important to see that it's always okay very often uh, antivirus software will have different states on the icon so if it becomes red or has a little red X or changes color you have a visual a way of knowing that your antivirus software has a problem so um, I would put the antivirus software there for example you might have a piece of software that also has notifications that you want to see so just go through the list uh, the ones you want to see you just put show icon and notifications the one you don't want to see you just put hide icon and notifications and um, you can also put the uh, only show notifications it means that the icon won't be there anymore but when something is uh, pops up it's going to give you that information so that's how you customize the um, notifications toolbar the part of the taskbar at the bottom right um, in the control panel if you enjoy our videos, well, click the subscribe button at the top of the screen. You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions on what you've seen, let us know. Um, you might have a video of your own that you'd like us to talk about a feature of Windows 7. Let us know. We'll try to put a video online for you, and you'll be helping others at the same time. Uh, this is what's cool about YouTube, the Internet, and all, is that you can we can all help each other. And this is one of the great, great, great forces of um, YouTube videos. Thanks for watching. If you have that Windows 7 machine, hey, subscribe to our channel because you'll be learning on how to use your computer to the maximum. And if you have uh, um, that machine, well, take a look at our videos that are already online. And I hope you come back to the official Windows 8 channel, Windows 7, sorry. I'm a little mixed up here because I have both channels, Windows 7, Windows 8. So I uh, hope you come back to the official Windows 7 channel. Bye-bye.